calories in versus calories out is a little bit more complex than, again, simply thinking about food that we consume and the energy that we use through exercise, right? This equation takes into account our, ent our entire internal system as a whole, right? So, but on the base level, calories in versus calories out, right? So when you consume more calories than you expend, you're in a surplus energy balance. We've heard that on Instagram 1 million times, okay? When, and we've heard this one even more. When you consume fewer calories than you expend, you're in a deficit energy balance. You're in a caloric deficit, right? And if there is a meme of the century within the fitness industry, it is calorie deficit, right? Yes. And I think it's a great message, but let's go a little bit deeper into some things of, of specific to the calorie calculator and creating a deficit, right? And, and what, that all, what all that means. Right, so if we look at calories in, this is the amount of energy you consume via food or beverage each day, right? We track this via calories made up of protein, carbs, and fats. Those are our macros. The number of calories you intake will have a direct impact on your ability to gain, lose, or maintain your body weight, right? So your calories you're taking in versus burning will have an impact on if your ability to gain, lose, or maintain your body weight. Calories out, right? That was calories in. So calories out involves understanding your total daily energy expenditure. And that is the biggest number, the biggest answer to the equation that the nutrition calculator is sort of spitting out for you, right? That total daily energy expenditure number, right? And that gives, that helps us give us, you know, what even is our caloric maintenance, you know, generally, okay? And the three components that this nutrition calculator is taking into uh, consideration and what make up your total daily energy expenditure in general are things like basal metabolic rate, right? Your BMR. And I'll, I'll, I'll define some of these terms for you here in a minute, but it, basal metabolic rate is the first thing, right? Your BMR. The thermic effect of food is the second thing, the TEF. A lot of acronyms in this episode. And physical activity, right? Those are the three components that make up your daily energy expenditure. Basal metabolic rate is essentially that number of calories your body uses at rest to function properly, right? This is often referred to as like, if you were like in this comatose state, lying on your couch near dead, <laughs> you know, like mm -hmm. what does it take for your body just to run and stay alive? BMR, nailed it, right? That's your BMR. Your non-exercise related activity, is NEAT, right? Non-exercise related activity thermogenesis is NEAT, right? We just kind of say non-exercise related activity. It's an easier way to say it. And thermogenesis is just too big of a word to say that many times. So that is the calories the body uses for energy on tasks like walking, cleaning, fidgeting, cooking, wrestling your kids into clothes like we already talked about, you name it, right? It's that non-exercise related activity. And that is going to be a big player in this equation. And we're going to go over that here in a minute. Thermic effect of food, right, is the number of calories the body uses to digest the proteins, carbs, and fats that we consume. Easy enough. Exercise activity, right, this is like dedicated exercise, dedicated physical activity, is the amount of energy used during planned exercise, like aerobic or strength training, right? So the non-exercise related activity and the exercise related activity sort of fall into a, a blanket under that physical activity component of TDEE. Okay. Your BMR and your TEF, your basal metabolic rate and the thermic effect of food are relatively fixed numbers, right? They're fixed amounts within that TDEE variance, right? We can't do much to sway those numbers. Not much, right? We could maybe move the needle tiny, a tiny bit, but we're not going to get in, into the weeds there. Right? Those are relatively fixed amounts in terms of that total daily energy expenditure, which basically leaves us physical activity in terms of a lever that we can pull on a daily basis to help us calorically with that caloric output, right? The calories out part of that calories in, calories out equation. And physical activity, again, is made up from the exercise-related activity and the non-exercise-related activity, right? To adjust that TDEE number. Right, and this, and Sue's gonna go, go over this in here in a little bit, where this is where not only adaptation, but this is where movement in general can really start to impact 
that number that you get from this calorie calculator equation. Okay. So I'll quickly go over the impact of NEAT here. And, and I know Sue's going to mention it with the adaptation part later, but NEAT has been sh shown to be responsible for up to six, six to 10% of your daily energy expenditure among sedentary individuals, right? Sue kind of went over the kind of defining sedentary individuals in the beginning, but people that just aren't moving a lot, right? People with desk jobs, honestly, in a big way, a lot of us fall, you know, if you're a personal trainer and mainly online, you fall into the blanket of you're probably pretty, pretty sedentary. You spend a lot of hours at the desk, right? So for us, that is closer to six to 10% of our daily energy expenditure is that non-exercise related activity. But for more active people, that can be upwards of 50% of that number, right? 50%, which is a great thing to know when it comes to losing or even maintaining weight and body composition, right? Because we can really start to pull a lever there and say, hey, we want to greater impact the calories out part of this equation. How do we do that? Well, that's where things like steps come in, right? That's where things like maybe some structured cardio or um, not being a couch potato all day, right? <laughs> Actually go to this store and, and walk around the aisles if you don't get many steps in the day, right? There's things that we can do, levers that we can pull there, and NEAT is definitely a big one. 